My first feeling was shock, um, and I, I, did, I did kind of think, what, well, me? <laughs> there was pride, there was definitely pride, um, and then of course some doubt. I think the thing that I value most about it is that it's for services to healthcare and higher education, equality, diversity and inclusion, which is work that I am so committed to. There's so much more work to be done on this issue, both in higher education and in healthcare. Work that seems to me actually worthwhile, rather than, you know, some of the other things I do in life, I think, well, what's the point of this? But I feel that this is really um, an honor for me, but I think it kind of honors all the stories I've listened to from staff, from students in the NHS and higher education. And they've been good stories. They've been stories of community, they've been stories of equality, they've been stories of inclusion. But I've also heard some quite harrowing stories from staff and students of all ethnicities, actually. Um, and so for me, that's what's so great about this award, is that it is actually it's not for me, it's for everybody. It's for all the people who've been brave enough to tell their stories, all the people who've been brave enough to try and do something about it, all the people who've been brave enough to try and do things differently, even if they're in a, a powerful group, to help people who actually marginalise. So um, it's, again, a really, really great honour, I think, for the whole community. It gives you an opportunity to talk about the cause, um, to talk about how much amazing work is going on. Other campaigners for equality and diversity that are doing more than me have been doing it longer than me. It's an opportunity to talk about them and, and, and maybe shine a spotlight on their work, but also to kind of just highlight how much work there is left to do, but also the benefits of inclusion to everybody, not just marginalised communities, but the fact that actually if we work on moving people from the margins, for people who are different, how much better everything can be for everybody else. The kinds of initiatives that help black and minority ethnic staff, for example, help other staff, you know? Um, so yes, yeah, so it is an opportunity to talk about the work and perhaps gain um, some attention and some momentum behind the work around inclusion. Find your thing, you know? So I'm reading this really great book, True North, um, and what they're arguing is you find your thing. You don't need to do what other people are doing. You don't need to do it the way other people are doing it. You find the thing that you're most passionate about and do it your way. Capitalize on your weirdness. So don't try and conform. Uh, you know, capitalize on the things that are your strengths. Yes, develop your weaknesses, but capitalize on your strengths. Um, you know, if, you, if the mission is important and you have faith in the mission, don't be swayed by criticism, don't be swayed by critics, um, but you have to understand the mission and be sure of your mission, you know, uh, and just keep moving and keep going. I, I definitely think if me, an immigrant from the Caribbean, could get an MBE, there's so many more brilliant, every student I work with is so much more brilliant than I was at that age. You know, lots of um, colleagues that are just doing such amazing work, so if I can get an MBE, then anybody can, just do your thing. Students inspire me all the time. They inspire me with how strong they are. They carry on. I mean, I even if I could juggle the kinds of things that I hear students juggling. And I hear stories from students all the time about some of the challenges they're facing, but they still keep going. Um, and also, I guess they inspire me because we need to do better for them. We need to do better uh, on inclusion and lots of other issues that students highlight to us. And students of all ethnicities, um, they're so bright we have such an important responsibility to steward that curiosity and that faith they have in goodness and humanity and, 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 and idealism. Um, and I think it's just really important that we we manage that, you know, in, in a sort of positive way. I certainly hope that there's a secret email list, yes, or some kind of secret Christmas party or something for next year. <laughs>